back to my channel how are you guys doing today i hope you guys are staying safe yes you guys today we're gonna to be making golden brown chicken like a whole chicken and you guys this recipe in it takes a longer time to be ready like you have to prep the chicken from the night before the day you're gonna be needing it so tomorrow is my birthday by the grace of god inshallah so i just feel like since tomorrow is my birthday, I'm going to prep the chicken today and I really want to show you guys this recipe. So, this is what I'm going to be doing tonight. I'll continue the chicken recipe tomorrow. Yeah, so in here I have my chicken, like a full chicken. I'm just going to quickly take my salt and I'll take this stock cube. So guys, uh, you can decide not to use stock cube. It's your choice. You can decide to use just the salt. But for me, I'm going to be using salt and stock here so guys i just filled this bowl up with this water you can see i might add more water to it but for now i think i'll be working with this i'll just move it closer so that you guys can see properly so what i'm doing here is just to add my salt now when you're adding your salt you want to think about the quantity of the water not the size of the chicken because you want the water to be salty like enough salt that will make this water salty okay so i'm just going to add salt to eat now so i cannot tell you exactly the <laughs> the measurement of the salt because i'm just adding it based on the water i have here i don't know the measurement of the water so i'm good with this salt and i'll be adding just one stock cube because this water is not so much i'll be adding one stock cube to eat you guys should bear in mind that not all the salt Will be going into the chicken and not all the stock will be going into the chicken because most of them will remain in the water we just need these things to penetrate into the chicken so i'm just quickly going to match the stock cube just to make sure it has dissolved in the water i'm just gonna taste it guys i have to add more salt to eat a little bit more salt to eat so i'm just going to Deep in my chicken. Yes, you can see the chicken is totally inside the water. You know, it might actually come up later, so you need something to like press it down. I'm going to be using this cover to press it down so it doesn't come up later. Yes, that will be just fine. And this goes straight to my fridge. Hi guys, good morning! Can you just say happy birthday to me? Like, I really appreciate that. Please say happy birthday to me in the comment section. It's my birthday! 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 Enough. Back to our chicken. So guys, <laughs> good morning and I have my chicken right here we are just gonna proceed so what i'm gonna be doing now is just to focus the camera to the chicken and you'll be seeing less of my face for now okay so, all right guys this is my chicken right here so it's morning and i'm just going to carefully bring it out i'll just put this in the sink here we go so i'm gonna dip my hand in there and bring out the chicken so i'm just gonna carefully bring out here from here so what i want to do is just to pack it dry i want it totally dry in and out just wash my hands and I'll come back so guys the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to add my soy sauce to it this is soy sauce so I'm just gonna like coat it all around so guys I'm just gonna leave the chicken like this to rest like this because I want the soy sauce to kind of stay on the body for a while 
So I'm gonna leave it for like maybe 15 minutes and I come back to it. See you later. So guys, um, this is black pepper with citron with some lemon. So I'm going to be using this. Just a little bit of that. And I have my onion powder. This is onion powder in garlic powder container. When the original content of this bottle finished, then I bought something like this, which is onion powder, and I just pour it here. So in here, I have onion powder. So I need a lot of onion powder, guys. I need a lot of this. Yes, baby? Okay, so I'm going to be using that. I'll just use this one. So I have my garlic powder here. I'm going to be using this is original garlic powder. I'll be using that. And I'm going to be using my curry. This is curry, okay? In another container. The bottle is for cayenne pepper, but I have curry in there. So I'm going to be using curry. Guys, you can use any spices of your choice. This is what I've chosen to use. I'm just avoiding anything red, anything pepper, 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 because I want to achieve golden brown chicken. So I'm going to mix this together. So I'm not going to be adding any sauce or any maggi to this because the chicken is already salted. Yeah. I'm adding as much salt, as much oil as possible. You guys can see the mixture. I want more onion powder just for the aroma. And this is it, guys. So now I'm gonna be working on my chicken. So I'm just gonna mix well and then I'm gonna massage it all through my chicken in and out. So guys, because I like chicken wings and I don't want these chicken wings to get burnt, I'm just going to hide it behind like this. I'll just turn it around. I'll hide it right there. I'll hide it right here. I'll hide the hand and the chicken will be like this. <laughs> okay guys, I'll be back. I need to tie the lap too. So guys, I have my oven paper here. I'm just going to take out my scissors scissors so I'll pick out one oven paper just one I can't use any any other kind of rope because I'm scared it's my get bones and the oven so I just have to use oven paper for this so I'm just putting it now so I want to use this to tie the legs of the chicken So now I'm really going to work on this, I'll just shift this aside. So I'm not sure I'm using the whole of the carrots, so I'm going to keep this here just to see if I'll be using everything, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think this should be fine. I'll just add one more. Okay. So this is my carrots. All I want to do to these carrots is to add some oil to it. So it doesn't get burnt. Then I'll add, I'll add a little bit of salt to it. Just enough salt. And I just I'll be using this for everything. So 
I didn't work on this one just to make sure the plate is neat. So now the chicken comes here. I just want to make sure that the wings are tucked in again. So here we have, this is the chicken. I'm just going to put the potato and the carrot all around. Guys, now it's ready and this is just going to go straight to my oven. Look at how beautiful this is. Okay, straight to the oven. The oven is preheated at 175 degrees. I don't want it to get burnt. <laughs> I want it to like cook gradually, slowly, and get brown slowly, slowly. We are still gonna be checking on it and we're still gonna be coating it. We have to coat it to make sure it actually comes out brownish, you get. So guys, I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm going to be bringing this potatoes out now because I need to work on the chicken and the potatoes won't let me. But the potatoes are ready now, like potatoes and carrots are ready. Here, I have melted butter. I'm just going to use it to coat it all around. Hey guys this is so good it's so good it's from the chicken hmm. <laughs> honestly i'm not a potato person i don't like potatoes but because this has been soaked with the chicken stock it's so good it's so good guys Oh, this is good too. Very nice. Oh, so then, I'm gonna bring out the chicken now. I want to eat that one. So our chicken is 100% ready. I'm just gonna try to take a very nice thumbnail picture before I cut it for you guys to see. It is very, very moist inside. I'm only so sure about that. Guys, see what will have happened if you didn't tie the if you didn't tie the laps together you see it will just break apart so this is happening because this has escaped you see it has escaped from there that is why it's breaking it's supposed to be like this you can already tell this is so juicy you can see that <gasps> Ooh i can't wait to dig in so guys i have transferred the chicken from this bowl to this flat plate because i still want to get a proper thumbnail picture yeah, let's cut from this side. Look at that. You guys, if you try this recipe and it doesn't come out this good, eh? like this is so good. The salt and the seasoning, like the one we put last night, it was so good. Like it distributed around the chicken, like even this inside part, this breast part. It's so. Oh. This is really good. Really, really good. Look at how moist this is. It's so, so, so. You see, it's not dry. It's so moist. You see? The red egg will get the lap. Boys are here. <laughs> yeah, I don't make a cake. 
Okay, I'll give you. Let's end the vlog. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you tried this recipe and I hope it worked out really well for you. Don't forget to share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, click the like button if you like the video. I'll see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to wish me a happy birthday in the comment section below. Bye guys, I love you.